What up, you glorious, beautiful bastards? Yeah, I missed you for some reason. Girl, I love you. <laughs> anyway, how are you, my lovely audience, doing tonight? Mm -hmm. I'm doing wonderful because I figured out who my magician was. What's her name? Ghetto Nun. She did a video about it. Um, the Vine Feminine sitting on top of the world part two or part D or something. And she mentioned some shit. And I was just like, that's kind of crazy. And then all of a sudden, it made fucking sense. And then it was just like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, so, we're going to expand on that tonight and see what's happening with crazy, crazy magicians who the last we talked about them you know what was it like they did dumb fuck shit i think that's proper i think that's a proper thing to say yeah on the tippy toes trying to feel something the bitches in the background on their hands and knees and shit what a childish fucking position Actually, like they're supposed to be praised like a golden child or some shit. Ew. Yeah, that kind of makes sense with mine. Actually, that makes sense with mine. And it's crazy because if they hadn't done what they did, I would not have realized the past like four years of what they were doing in one day. One fucking day. And it's been amazing. It really has. So, newcomers, returning visitors, fellow practitioners, and weirdos alike. This is an all signs read. Particularly on like the crazy motherfucker who won't leave us alone. Little stalkers or sneaksters and all that jazz, right? So if this resonates with you, kill. If not, just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point worrying about shit that ain't about you and ain't none of your damn business unless you're nosy and then that's a completely different story. Um, I also like to say naughty words, so if you don't like that, like, I guess you're gonna have to either learn to or not. It's really, I really have no control over what goes on. Eight of Pentacles in the energy. The devil in the situation. Ew. Easily could be Capricorn, right? <coughs> it doesn't really matter if I called the signs out or not, because anybody could be whatever. Like, usually, if it's not in your main birth chart, you'll eventually end up somewhere where planets are touching. Like, on a school bus after class or something. I don't know. But they hate each other. It's like, whatever. Like, trines and squares... Directs and indirects, all that jazz. I need to brush up on my stuff more. I'm starting to learn, though. I'm starting to. Uh, wants and wishes, seven of swords with a sneaky, sneaky nature, right? However, the obstacle and challenge is maybe the choice. Then we got the hierophant right here in the fears of rejections. Commitment, loyalty, shit like that. How shit starts, how it'll end with the King of Swords reverse. That Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. We got Tauruses. We got Capricorn. And then we have Pisces, the High Priestess, getting downloads. Ooh. Someone be learning some shit. Fucking clown. <coughs> Sorry, that was rude. I shouldn't have said that. My apologies, but I'm not really sorry. But, you know, manners and all, right? But it's just like, if, what is this high priestess over here, you know? Waiting? Okay. Okay. Okay, this Eight of Pentacles, why are they working on shit in their energy in order to gather fucking strength? Be like, rah, 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 I'm lying or whatever, right? The situation with this devil, though, could be Capricorn. Uh, hmm. Might be separating or this relationship that is not healthy is finally getting broken up in this situation. Someone's uh, 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 socially inept and incapable of learning, right? It could have Capricorn involved, but I don't think, like, once again, all signs three, but it, 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 but it's not. It's like, this pairing was bad, 
So now it's coming to an end. It's like, ew. How gross. We also got Leo energy up here. We got the Seven of Swords. Why have they got the Seven of Swords with the dragon? Fucking feelings. <laughs> Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Oh, that energy of, I just want someone to love me so I can stab them when I'm on my period, you know? Like, like not completely, like, she's not out of control with her emotions, but she's close enough to where she's making everybody worry. You know, obstacle and challenge with the two of wands is because, like, they need to make a choice because they're not going to find a victory in this, no matter what it is. They, they could hold their feelings in this entire time, but they're really not going to do a good job with that. This commitment right here, they're afraid or rejecting the idea of taking a break. No, it's weird. I read for this person this morning in particular, or just a particular vibe or bus route, whatever we want to go with, right? Because, you know, this is my bus. You can either ride on the bus and enjoy the ride, or, you know, management will tell me that I can pull the bus over and beat you with the stick before I throw you off my bus. It, it's either or, but I was reading for this person earlier, and it was like they didn't want to give a break to somebody who needed it. But they want a break. They want rest. Mm. King of Swords reverse with the starting and beginning energy. All being in your bad feelings because there's an empress. <laughs> what? It's like they're trying to, um... Hmm. The King Sword showed up before, too. He's actually shown up vice versa, but not like the deck, but like, um, in one part he would show up upright, in another part he showed up reverse, and it confused me for a minute, because it's just like, why does it seem like this person is contradictory? Like, you know, I mean, if they're a Libra or a Gemini, I completely understand that. But this was like, it was two different people, but they were like the same person. It was just like, what am I looking at here? It's very confusing, you know. We got the High Priestess here once again. And the Emperor Reverse. Oh my. Someone might have bad intentions to an Empress, right? Did I talk about the Ghetto Nun? Oh yeah. Anyway, so like with the Ghetto Nun, right... She had done this reading, talking about, like, a sea witch or whatever, and I thought it was really weird, because the more I listened to it, the more it sounded like my reading from Belial and Hecate, when they told me whatever. And it was really awkward, because, like, <coughs> the way it happened... The Magician... I found that I've been dealing with, which I wasn't entirely aware of. Um, which is weird, because, like, Ghetto Nun at some point a while ago said, you know, like, yeah, you can understand where motherfuckers come from, but how long are you going to accept that before you do something about it, you know? And I always thought, like, that's a weird thing to say. But in this case, it's like, this magician, um, who tried doing stuff to me, had a very big mouth. And they ended up shooting themselves in the foot before their plan even got started. So it was like... They kind of got what they wanted. Like, I can't say too much because I'm, I'm literally not allowed and, like, my job somehow knows about my YouTube channel, which is wrong, but whatever. But I, but I really can't say too much for that reason. But it's like... You know that old saying, loose lips sink ships? Well, you're not supposed to tell people what you're planning to do before you do it. Because then they're going to tell the person you're going to like try to get to help you with your plan, um, knowing it. And then they're probably going to fuck you over to stop somebody getting fucked over. That's all I can really say. Alright. Oh my lord. Okay, so, like, yeah, King of Swords is definitely a douchebag here. This person wants control, ultimate, to be the ruler of the world with the Emperor, right? 
working on their strength, working on their power. That's why they went to Hecate after all. But you know, like, when you're not smart, <laughs> I will never get over that. I will never understand why someone would ever ask for power. Like, that's such a dumb thing to do. That's like asking to be shot in the face and then surprised someone whips out a gun. You know? Yeah, they want to be the one who administers what is fair and balanced. I think that this person has a superiority complex. Or they just don't know. It's like whatever they believe to be right or wrong, that's what's fair. But it's like when they do something wrong, they try to justify it with reasons, expressions, trying to balance it out. Like, oh, well, I did it for this reason and that reason because I'm not that kind of person or I'm not this or I'm not that. And I think that's something that's got to be killed because it's just like, you know, how long are you going to keep explaining yourself before you stop doing the fucked up shit that's got you explaining yourself in the first place? Down below, someone's just, like, they don't care. They're just going to walk away from this person, this magician, right? Like, this energy of, like, having the toxicity with the devil, and now it's separate. He's just like, I don't care how much I love you. I'm going to leave, you know, which is, like... Okay, see, like, that's one of the bad things about tag locks, too, which I don't think I ever mentioned. Sometimes they break... Because they aren't part of the person anymore. Or, like I was saying before, you gain an intolerance. Tech logs are really hard to gain an intolerance to. Because it's kind of like, you know, you're actually gaining a piece of a person. You know, like, all you need is a piece. Just a small piece. That's enough. To, like, fuck with them, right? Oh, you get three. Yeah, someone's walking away because they no longer want to be trapped in a situation they feel like they've put themselves in and they are ready to look to the real world instead of this world that's before them. Yay. Wants and wishes. Seven of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Someone wants to be sneaky, trying to hide shit. But, like, you know, how are you going to hide shit when you're, like, staring at this cup all in the open? Like, mm -hmm. like I'm going to do sneaky shit. And I'm going to show everybody, like, the uh, the golden cup I stole from the restaurant down in Denny's. <laughs> yeah, this person, it, they're not committed in the slightest. And if they were, like, it's not in the right way. It's like... It's like... It's like when your dad drags you to church as a child to save your soul, but he doesn't realize all he's really doing is, um, making you bitter towards it, right? Or making you to where, like, you know, you, you just feel like, do I really need to go to this in order to worship the Lord? Like, why can't I do this in front of a television? Why can't worshiping the Lord just be watching Shelby Woo? Just, you know. That's how I got into this shirt. <laughs> but it's like, there's no commitment here. Even if there were, it's, it, it's, it's based on a fucked idea of commitment. Or they're rebelling, or they're trying to get someone to rebel against the rules. Definitely could be a Taurus energy involved here. Or whatever. What, are they hell-bent on breaking a commitment? Are they hell-bent on this commitment in order to, like, start something new? Hmm. This person doesn't even want the person that they're with. Like, they don't want anybody. They just want to break the, um... Like, this person's purpose... Is just to basically be a douche canoe. To be a nosy... Dramatic... Distracting noise. Kind of like the noise that, may, that they make in, like, Dumb and Dumber when they start being like, what's the most annoying noise ever? And then they go, ah, for a really long time. I'm not going to do that to you guys because, like, you know, I like you. <laughs> if I was at work, it'd be a different story because I'd like getting on people's nerves. But, you know. Um, it's kind of like that. It's just they want to be a disruption. The cause separation. Let's see. Obstacles and challenges, though, is the two of wands with the six of wands reverse. Yeah. 
I was about to say swords. I was like, wait, is that sticks? Yes, those are definitely sticks. Um, need to make a choice because some victory was not found the way they thought it would be. You know. Like, they want to let their guard down at some point, so they have the ability to sneak away forever. They got the Seven of Swords down here, too. I feel like they kind of want to... Hmm. This magician might have fucked up so bad. That they have to make a choice to try to skedaddle. Or... They'll make a choice to let their guard down and expose themselves, one of the two. But that's, like, the problem, though. Because they do that over here with the Emperor. It's like they sit there and they like, oh, well, I did this and I did that and this is why I did this and this is why I did that. And it's just, like, it's just fucking excuses. It's like, you know, it's one thing to be a practitioner, but it's another thing to be, um... Very shitty decisions... And then come up with reasons for why you did it afterwards. Just be like, yeah, okay. I got you. I got that you're, uh, they, the reasons for why you did this shit. But, like, that doesn't explain why you did it in the first place. You know, just because you have a reason to do something doesn't mean you automatically go and do it. Like, there's a difference between thinking of something and, like, you know, throwing your shit on the floor. Which is an action, right? All right. Fears of rejections. Um, what they're rejecting is this um, this partnership, this commitment, this um, unit, right? And they, and I feel like they'll rest after a certain time, or maybe they feel like you know someone abandoned them instead of being committed. They got patience right here, thinking that uh, something new will spring up with these two of cups, or maybe y'all come back together or some shit. And, you know, they be working on shit, trying to get it done, right? Unfortunately, like, they're so sourpuss, they got their back turned to the actual series of events. Like, there's a dolphin swimming by with, like, a plastic thing around its head, and it's just like, can you help me, sir? Um, I feel like a Coca-Cola can, and he's just like, I'm gonna make you a tuna can if you talk to me again, right? Which makes no damn sense. Um, which is completely unjustified and fair, because, you know, the dolphin's, like, kind of suffering, but they don't care. They just turn their back to it, and, and unjustly so. Um, which is going to cause them to be in a pretty fucked up loop, one that they can't escape from, and they will recognize as a foolish mistake on their part. So what, did I think that if they wait a bit, like, everything's gonna be okay? <laughs> what? Okay, 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 whatever, man. That's stupid. Uh, that action is dangerous! Just like I said, like, no, that, that's a terrible idea. Like, yeah, um, well, honestly, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. I mean, if they take the action anytime sooner... It, it, it was going to be a disaster if they're waiting now after the, this action's being taken or maybe they're waiting a little bit longer to take action it's going to be disastrous whether they realize it or not I don't think so I don't even think this shit's happened yet because I know mine hasn't happened yet they have no fucking clue the king of swords of the empress how shit starts how it'll end someone's absolutely fucking paranoid with this king of swords reverse with the empress Right? Mind you, the Emperor's over here. So this person's already a douche canoe and a douchebag. He's a double-double Dutch douchebag canoe. Right? And he's got some ill feelings towards this Empress. Like, watching her like a fucking hog. Like, she's minding her own business with a fucking horse. You know what the horse is doing? Eating grass and going, Meh. You know, like horses do. And this kid's just minding his business. Yet he's noticing that there are people just stalking all around. Right? Just watching and shit. I don't know if this particular mag magician for all of you would be considered a female, but that's a very strong possibility. Like, the fact that the Empress is reversed is kind of like karmic, but whatever. Yeah, you need to get on get. This person might get... <laughs> this person might be in the dark about who to go to. Um, because I've, like... Mm. Like, if this isn't a karmic Empress, it would definitely be, like, someone who's just genuinely pissed off at this 
King of Swords, who's also looking at this person like she's completely illogical and should not be reasoned with. But the problem is, is like they're not gonna know where to go with their love. It's like they're getting looked at like your sacks of shit. Or this could be somebody doing that to them because they're seeing right through their shady shit. You know. Oh, going and talking to people in order to figure out what kind of information their brain will download to their head to give them an idea. They're still trying to access that shit with the ending theme. What a fucking idiot. Why would you do that, though? This person's relying on other people to feed their intuition, which is really fucking dumb. Unless you do it through Instagram like I do, and then that's completely fucking different, because I'm still experimenting with that. I still got like another three days before I return to that shit and see how that goes. My, But I don't think my initial two worked because I was too vague and too expansive with what I was trying to project, but, you know, there were still some effects, but that, that's beside the point. Now let's see. After Terra, what tells us after all this goes out? Okay, so this motherfucker got left in the cold. Because of their uh, play. Alright, you can't go around suggesting that what you're doing is the right thing to do with reasonings when what you did is a shady thing to fucking do in, to begin with. You know, if you wouldn't want it done to you, you don't do it to anybody else. I don't know why there are so many adults who have not recognized that formula. And I'm not trying to judge people, but it's like, damn, don't fuck people over if you don't want to get fucked over. Don't fuck people over and then act surprised when you fuck yourself over either. That's like the crazy thing about it. Six seconds, y'all gotta dump this out really quick. You can stare at my booty. What, what? Not really, you can't see anything actually. That's okay though. You're still in my house. Anyway, let's continue. So this person gets left out in the cold because it's like after chair deck, right? Yeah, like the door was wide open to begin with and everyone left them behind. But this is like what's happening after all of their little considerations. They're, they're going to feel left out in the cold or they're going to be left out in the cold with their energy or their vibration or just who they are as a person, right? Because that's what happens when you fuck with people. And now they got to find a way to fix themselves. Yeah. Or recover. One, two, is they've already been through this shit before with you too, for anybody. The magicians just like, mm. but they're gonna get left out in the cold. And they're gonna have to fix themselves. But what you notice is like with this five of pentacles, there's more than like two people. There's three people. You know, they watch somebody else get like come out of this cold situation and fix themselves. They're gonna have to go through the same process themselves. Um, you know, if, if they want to be saved, but you know, <laughs> I don't know. The one thing I learned going to <laughs> church, right? Jesus nor God never said that they would save us. They said we we would save ourselves. At least that's what I remember from reading those books. My dad also used to tell me I have no idea what I'm talking about, even though I read more books than him. Yeah. So like, look at. Them getting left out in the cold, the swords are just going to drop right over them. They're going to get heartbroken again. But this is how they set everything up. Like, we got the chalice, we got the anthem, we have the wand, we have the coin or the pentacle. Um, almost like a witch's circle, right? You have all these elements representing each whatever. Because I can't remember the word. But this has, like, been set up by this actual person. They put all that into place. Just so they could end up at a crossroads and have somebody almost help them or nurture them. You see that, bitch? It's you. You helping them. How are you helping them? By reminding them that they're trash. Ah, okay. Next group for a situation. Someone left to free themselves and to look at the new world. Yeah, someone probably drove them away. Being like, you can leave now. You know, here's the King of Swords. And this is where they get nettled. This is where they get pissed because they can't say what they really wanted to say. And that's why it doesn't work out for them and no one's listening. They've all turned to stone being like, and nah, that's cool, man. Um, this is like what I was saying the other day. 
Like, there's somebody who is a complete freaking commoner going against a king and succeeding when it comes to, like, logic. Or at least, like, communication, words and stuff like that, driving them away. This is, like, the second time with this magician I've seen that. Like, whatever it is they're doing. Um, somebody who is nowhere, probably nowhere near as powerful as them is rebuking them in a way. Which is a weird word to use. Why am I using those words? He's in my head right now. Doesn't matter. Alright. Hierophant reversed with the Ace of Wands in the, in the Wants and Wishes. Trying to break, I feel like it's almost like trying to break up a commitment or a union or a community in order to start something new. Yeah, they're going to have to choke the lion. Someone's going to choke that lion out just to be like, no, 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 no. Go to sleep. You tired. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. I have the strength card over here, but it's reversed over here. <coughs> so what, are they like... Defeating them own... They're sucking themselves dry in order to make all of this work? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, they, they are, and they need to let it go. Okay, I mean, it'll work for a time, but it's draining. It's to the point where it's suffocating. Like, you know, you can only be dabbling and shit for so long like honestly i feel like this person if they were to be a legit magician or even knew something of the practice right because i don't feel like they are um i feel like they are the person who's been fucking with you for i'll say five six years maybe tops for a lot of you myself included but you know the one thing that you should do if you're gonna practice is close your fucking circle. <laughs> and that's all I'll say to that. You know, like, close your circle. Magician. Like, that's a ba that's basic. <coughs> that's like zero degree initiate like shit. You should already know to do that. Uh, obstacles and challenges. The book says we're going to stay committed. <laughs> like here is the hierophant again. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So the hierophant over here is they're afraid that they're going to get the rest they need, and they're hoping that over time, whatever actions they take will lead to disaster. Over the, the obstacle and challenges, the hierophant basically said no, and then like raised a book up for the reasons why <clears throat> like policy or some shit right open communications up for sure in order to heal like they use this reason for healing this could be considered god do you if you want to too since he's uh, in a dress and churching yeah and, oh shit like okay so this person tried using rules ethics morality the community in general to cause issues. But once stuff got communicated, once words started flowing, yeah, that didn't end very well. And look at that. There's the four ones again. It's just like, are you getting on the boat or are you not? This person's running out of time. Good for them. All right. Fears and rejections. This high fence with the four of swords. Trying to be patient about what kind of actions to take in order to cause disaster, right? Oh, look! Four Wands! They're watching everything go. Huh. One more. Queen of Swords? I feel like 
this magician or whoever it might be in your life, this person who's just basically a mass of destruction, um, feels as though with time, as long as this four of wands stays open, they can act like a sweet, nurturing person all on their own and have a gentle logic to them. However, I feel like you're trying to be gentle to an air sign. Like, they know they'll cut a bitch, but, like, there's a butterfly right here. It's like, what is this gentle nature? What the fuck, cards? What does this mean? Actually, you know, I'll do y'all favor tonight. What the fuck is up with the fears and rejection? Why aren't you... Why, aren't, why am I not being told the actual words? Because there's something here I'm not getting. Right? There's something here you're not telling me. They lose pleasure. no longer fun for them. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo. <sighs> okay, so y'all, this person's gonna be as nice as can be. But their only way they're going to decide that they're gonna quit their shit is if you turn your 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 head away from them, ignore them, basically, like a toddler throwing a fit. She is in no way facing any of this shit. She's looking at her land. It's just like, look at all of this dry shit I got in my yard. I should probably water that stuff, right? Not even paying attention to this person. This person is trying to act. This magician is trying to act as gentle and as kind and as happy as can be, and act like they're perfectly fine without dealing with anybody. That's a fucking lie. They might even try to communicate that they're perfectly fine with anything and everything. But I'm telling you, it's only because, like, they're looking for some reason to continue. Alright. How shit starts to end, they feel, like, paranoid as fuck and they don't know where to give their love, right? Like, they let somebody drown for sure, right? Then, I think, expected to be able, because, like, the card split and I saw this one. I think they were expecting to be able to talk their way out of the situation without conflict, too. After they just let someone die in the fucking river. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's alright. And they just want to drop this so they can rest. But none of the shit that's been going on is getting buried. Yeah. Yeah. This magician is definitely getting, like, um, downloads. But the way that they're working it, they're trying to manipulate another person to do the dirty work for them. Like, look at these kids. Look at them. Like, going up here with their smiling faces, just being like, we love you. It didn't come up reverse. Because I don't think that they're being led wrong. But I do feel like they're being led to something. But that's not for me to neither decide or negotiate against the, the the main gist of all this is um whoever this magician is in your life whether you're a practitioner or not you're gonna have to just cut that shit out like straight up you're probably gonna have to make a bitch or two cry too just in case just to make sure that they know not to come back to bother you anyway but that's the reading i got for y'all man I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Uh, love your guys' faces. Please take care. And, um... Get some salt and vinegar chips and just eat the entire bag of it before bed. Just, just do it. I promise. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.